What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to go over a few things that you can do as an Airbnb host in this dire time. Uh, coronavirus taking over, everything shutting down, uh, everyone's quarantined. I mean, there's every single day that goes on, and I said this in my last video, but every single day that goes on, <laughs> the information that is being released is worse and worse. And so far, this is something that we have to look at and you know, we have to ride it out. There's no backing out, there's no quitting. And in today's video, I want to go over some things that you can do and you can consider in this time, knowing that you have leases, that you have utilities, and that you have expenses that come with your business. What can you do to potentially not be wiped out, right? For those of you who don't have reserves, for those of you who don't, ca who don't have cash reserves, or if you do have cash reserves, this is definitely gonna be a great video for you because I'm gonna go through some options and explore some options that you can consider uh, in this time and what you can do to break even or continue making a little bit of profit, um, slim, slim profit margins. And the way I like to think about it is if you test and try these things and they don't work, at least you tried. That's what's the worst that can happen. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first thing that you can consider is you can rent to normal tenants. Now, this one is not necessarily gonna be something that I'm looking at and then I'm gonna be trying. But right off the bat, you have a furnished apartment. Some tenants look for furnished apartments and you can offer this furnished apartment to them for under market value. So typically how this works, apartment complexes do offer furnished units and they offer it for, I think it's to the cost of the furniture uh, incorporated over the, 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 the term of the lease. I don't know how they calculate it, but you can offer a furnished unit for much less than what they offer to cover your break-even costs. And you could even offer it at normal rent rate to you know to get through this time. So this is something that I've seen a lot and I think it's a good idea if you know how to market to these people or if you know how to market to you know to gather that long-term tenant clientele. Uh, go for it, maybe get in contact with a realtor, real estate agent, uh, figure something out. To, to get you in a position where you can at least find a long-term tenant for this time. Now, based off of the quarantine and like the, the self-distancing, that type of thing, uh, you know, I don't know how this is gonna work out. I think a lot of business is taking a hit right now, a lot more than just hospitality. I mean, it's everything across the board, all business is shut down. I don't think anyone's gonna be doing any kind of business transaction in this time that we're in right now with, with the whole coronavirus. So. Because of that, that leads me to the next couple of options. And this right here, it's, I know if you're, if you're a landlord and you're watching this, you're probably not gonna wanna hear this. Um, and I've seen this across Facebook groups, multiple Facebook groups. I've seen a lot of people already talking about this, bringing it up in discussion, looking at Italy and, and kind of how they've already taken action on this. So what I'm about to get to here is gonna be controversial, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it out there just to get your mind just to get your gears rolling and potentially you know, come up with a solution if, if that's the case. So what I'm proposing here is ask your landlord or ask the property owner for a rent-free period or a discounted rent rate until this blows over. Now I know a lot of you are probably not gonna be able to get this type of deal depending on how you sign the lease and how you sign the contract, but I think this right here is your best option and the, the reason this is gonna work is because we're currently in a state of national emergency. The entire country, um, you know, it's been declared a national emergency because of this pandemic. And therefore, because these circumstances are not common, because they're special circumstances, everyone can agree that you know, these times call for desperate measures and they call for, for change. And what I'm about to say here is see if you can get rent free um, rates or just rent free uh, housing from your landlord and this is controversial because you know everyone needs money in this situation right everyone is in a situation where it has to be mutually beneficial on both sides and unfortunately if the economy is completely halted and and people can't go to work people can't make money uh, people then can't afford to pay their rent now i'm talking about long-term tenants here this is something that I've seen long-term tenants asking their landlords on Facebook groups if they can get rent free because they can't afford to pay the rent because they don't have a job. I mean, they're not making any money. I just saw an article that states that Marriott is planning on putting tens of thousands of people on unpaid leave while this blows over. Now, 
we say while this blows over, but realistically none of us really know how long this will take. This is definitely not gonna take a couple of weeks. This is gonna be multiple months, potentially a year of time to recover. And this is being optimistic. You know, things can get a lot worse depending on how the government and how other people decide to handle the situation. This could get a lot worse. The end of the month is coming up. I know a lot of guests have canceled and they've gotten their money back. This, have left, this has left a lot of hosts in a very terrible position and let's just see what happens. You know, Mar March is the first month that this is all unfolded. I've not experienced any type of, uh, you know, any type of negative impact on my business prior to this month and we're all dealing with it together. We're all learning uh, how to get through this together and there's a lot of people who, they're in the comments, they're saying, well, Airbnb rental arbitragers should have cash reserves preparing for this type of thing. Well, this is true to an extent, and I know a lot of rental arbitrage hosts that I've spoken to are ready for what is about to happen. But then again, you have to consider that a lot of people use those rental arbitrage profits and use that money to pay for their bills and to survive. Or in you know, in some people's cases, they use that money to scale. And there's risk with everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep it right there. I mean, I've, I've done riskier things in my life, and I think that. Nothing and no one is prepared for a global pandemic. At the end of the day, this is where we're at. This is a global pandemic and every single human being is gonna be impacted by this, whether we wanna admit that it's just the flu or if, you know, we wanna admit that this is the end of the world. Like, whatever side you're on, we're all experiencing a global pandemic and these don't happen very often. These happen once every 100 years and we're currently here living this time together all of us, if you're watching this, you're living this time with me, we're gonna get through this as a human race. It's just a matter of what we do and how we choose to spend our time and how we like to, you know, like do we focus on the negative or do we focus on the positive here? And, and I'm a very optimistic person and therefore I'm going to be focused on the positive and I'm gonna be focusing on solutions and what we can do to get through this and, and make sure that we're mitigating the risk, mitigating the damages. Now the next thing that I'm going to advise is being on multiple platforms, being on multiple distribution channels, booking.com, TripAdvisor, HomeAway, Verbo. There's a ton of these distribution platforms that you need to be on. And it's not gonna be easy to be on these platforms all at once simultaneously. It's gonna be a lot of work, it's gonna be a lot of uh, you know, learning, and you could use a channel manager, but that's gonna cut into your profits even more. I'm personally doing this right now without a channel manager and I'm doing just fine. And it's just a matter of stepping up to that role and filling in that position of knowing what exactly is going on on all these different platforms because they're all run differently. They're not all run the same way as Airbnb and it's just gonna take a lot of, of time to get used to it. And therefore, while we're in this quarantine, while everyone's locked up in their houses, I think use your time wisely, go out, list your properties on as many distribution channels as you want, make sure everything is synced correctly, make sure your iCal is taken care of, your iCalendar, make sure everything is, it, it looks good for when this does go over, when this does blow over, you can use this as, you know, a time of growth and it may not be growing in the sense that you're acquiring units, it could be growing in the sense that you're now on multiple platforms, you have more eyes on your properties. And the last thing I'm gonna tell you to do right now is figure out your rev par. Your rev par is your revenue per available room. Why this number is important is because it'll give you the exact number that you need to break even on every single night. Uh, figure this number out and you'll know what your break even cost is. I would take action on this right away. Now I mentioned a few other things. I switched all my cancellation policies to flexible simply because I'm forced in this position to do this and I think I'm gonna switch them right back once everything blows over, once everything is back to normal. Uh, you know, that's one thing that I encourage everyone to do. And the, my, my mentality, my logic behind it is that even if you don't switch to the flexible and you're not getting the extra SEO boost, if a guest books and your cancellation policy is set to strict, they're still gonna cancel because of the extenuating circumstances policy. So therefore, don't be lazy. Go in there and change that cancellation policy to flexible. Uh, there'll be a little bit of, a, you know, an increase SEO boost for you there and then obviously calculating your rev par comes hand in hand with knowing your break-even cost and operating at break-even this is my solution this is what I'm doing right now for all my properties and it is what it is you know we're gonna get through this uh, for those of you who are in the comments you're not being polite and saying well Airbnb rental arbitrage people should have cash reserves I have cash reserves I'm good my business will survive this at the end of the day it's not me that I'm concerned about it's other people and I wanna make sure everyone else who's a part of this industry is gonna be taken care of. And that's why I'm putting this information out there. 
doesn't matter if you have 100 grand in your cash reserves or if you have $10 in your cash reserves, you need to do these things accordingly because you don't wanna go through your cash reserves even if you have that money ready for an emergency. You still wanna be proactive and make sure that you're cutting the, the damages, cutting the losses as much as possible. That's why I'm making this video and that's why I think it's important to implement these things and take action on them. This is not a joke. I mean, it's, it's sad to see people out there partying and you know they're doing their thing. It, it's spring break, it's St. Patrick's Day. People wanna have fun, I get it, but be respectful, be aware of what is going on. There's a global pandemic, there's a viral airborne disease that is spreading and people are out here partying, you know, getting together in clubs and stuff. So, I mean, that is why the government is forcing itself to play this hand and, and shutting down restaurants, shutting down bars, shutting down these events because humans just clearly don't have the logic and the common sense that it takes to see what's actually happening. I'm personally a part of the financial world and I'm able to see the impact that it's having on business across the globe. And the fact that there's still college students out there just partying and thinking that everything's gonna be okay and that this is gonna blow over sooner rather than later, uh, it just blows my mind and maybe this is a correction that, that needed to happen. I'll say it right now. Uh, unfortunate as it is, I think this is something that uh, it's, been, it's been a ticking time bomb for lack of better words and here we are. Uh, hopefully everyone gets through it just fine. You know, find ways to get creative. If you're getting laid off your job, it's not a good time and, and it's gonna be hard, but there's always a solution. Just keep your head up, stay positive. Don't listen to all of the negativity, all the noise, and you'll be okay. I went off on a couple rants in this video, but I think the main points are here. Smash like on this and I will see you in the next video.